waterfalls They stick to the rivers and the lakes like they used to Hi guys, my name is Dimitri Maraminides, owner of Epic Kites and today's video is going to be on how to uh, land your kite safely. You do have many ways of landing your kite, okay, Not. and that's one of the ways Not. of landing your kite. What? You have to introduce me. Yeah, man, are you seriously right? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Let me finish the video. I'm dead seriously. Yes, yes. what kind of English is it? Anyway, that's Cameron Maraminides, as you can see. Anyway, the new owner of Epic Kites. <laughs> yeah. The new and improved owner of Epic Kites. Yeah. Okay. So um, this video is going to be on how to land your kite safely. Okay. Now, if you have someone on the beach, then that's the safest way to do it. Okay. You always want to land your kite with someone around. Okay. That's the safest way. If you don't have anyone around, then uh, you have different other methods of landing your kite, okay? And that's one of the other methods I'm going to show you today on the video. Okay, okay? Dad. So, Dad. What, Cameron? Enough talking. It's windy. 30 plus. Let's go kiting. Okay. We're on our way. Anyway, pay attention to this video and Slow we'll down. talk to you soon. Okay, so let me take you step by step on how to land your kite by yourself, but this time using the middle line, the center line of the kite. But once again, the best way and the safest way to land your kite is with someone else helping you. I would not recommend this way of landing your kite for novice or beginner kiters because it is very tricky and dangerous. Plus, you can do this only from, let's say, 7 knots all the way up to maybe 25 knots. Then it gets very risky and dangerous. But that is also one way of landing your kite using the center lines. So once you're ready to land your kite, make sure you redirect your kite towards the water, which is the safest way to land your kite. Once the kite is 10 feet from the ground, pull it hard so it crashes hard on the beach, then grab the center line and start pulling it. Okay, so immediately drop the kite, grab the center line, and start pulling it until the kite faces the wind. You are probably wondering which center line to pull. Well, first of all, I want to secure it with a stopper, which makes things much easier. But the center line you want to pull is the one that is looking up, the one which is on my right side. Anyway, I'm going to pull left on the red bar, so the kite crashes fast on the sand, and then make sure I grab the correct side of the center line and start fishing the kite until it looks towards the wind. Then I'm going to run towards the kite and secure it with any object to anchor it down. In this case, I'm going to use sand in order to keep it down. Once again, we're ready to land the kite by ourselves, so make sure the kite is around 10 to 15 feet from the ground, and then I use the stopper ball, it makes things much easier for me. So make sure you grab on the center line, the outside line, the line looking towards up, the one on your right side, because you're going to land the kite on your left, okay? So land the kite hard on the beach, then make sure you grab the right center line, and then start pulling until the kite faces the wind. Also, you have to make sure that the center lines are not twisted, okay? Because if you're twisted, you won't know which side to grab. So make sure you untwist them before you proceed with landing the kites. Once again, make sure you land the kite fast on the beach. You have to crash it. And then grab the correct center line, which is the right side. Make sure they are center lines and not the outside lines. Landing your kite this way is very tricky, so I would not recommend novice kiters, especially in strong winds. This was one of the ways of landing your kite on the beach by yourself. 